Hello and welcome to Radio Blog 12. A very rushed blog today because I've got a lot to fit in, so I'm going to get this over, this first bit over and done with. Um, yeah, shout outs. There's Tristan, thinks Tech Production is his account. Visit that. Usama, Lights Camera Action TV. Hello, John, Anime, visit his account, he's got some good visit. Isaac, Traits, Doctor Who 221, Paradox Guy 221, there is accounts, visit him. Um, Sammy, hello. Lee, hope you're having a good holiday. Yaz, hello. Katie, Hello, the usual people, Matt, hello, thank you for having me on your last blog, Simon, writer of the Heralds, um, which we'll be having part two of later, Simon Craig, hello Simon, Elliot, Elsie Wellsie, John, this scary wood, hello, then there's John Hutch, Dale Y, Tony Coburn, Tom Reese K, Seb, Hannah, Matt Chambers, Grant, I know Grant's not going, but you know, all the others, good luck um, with the convention guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. Shoutouts are done. So, anyway, on last week I went to a Queen tribute concert and they were really good. Um, yeah, so uh, Gary Mullen and the works, the chord you might have heard before, and I filmed some stuff, some footage, so I'll show you that now. <laughs>
just some of the large amount of footage I have of that night. Yeah. Anyway, now I'm going to get on to part two of the Heralds. Suddenly that same door slammed outwards with such force as to throw me down onto the floor, clutching to my knee. For a split second I forgot about the situation I was in and was attending to my blooded knee, withdrawing a handkerchief from my pocket. At that very moment a shadow was cast onto the floor, and I felt my heart sink as I knew I would not now have to look up. This I did as quickly as possible, whilst dragging myself back towards the wall. Standing over me was indeed a boy of about my age, perhaps a couple of years younger. But why was I so afraid? After all, I was older. He could have easily been my fag even. No, here something was not right. That feeling I had a few moments ago when I heard that giggle from beyond the door, the author of which was now standing in front of my very eyes. As I looked closer at him, I noticed that about an inch separated his feet from the ground, thus confirming in my heart my worst fear. Although smaller in stature than myself, he seemed to cast a more towering presence over me. The stereotypical appearance of what I knew that boy had now become was not accurate in that instant. His face was not short white as one might expect, but was of a crimson complexion, as if he was deriving from a t particularly severe kind of fever. So yeah, quite um, a rushed reading there. It was quite a short um, passage from the story anyway. Sorry about that. Now there'll be another blog on Friday, a Halloween special, where I'll be reading a lot more of the Heralds, you know, make it scarier. Anyway, that's the end of the blog now. One more quick shout out before I go. Hello, Lewis. There you go. So yeah, um, I bid you farewell and leave you with a Queen song. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Don't take it away from me because you don't